In this video, we will learn how to load a front panel in a sub panel control. We can use the sub panel control to display the front panel of another VI on the front panel of the current VI. For example, we can use the sub panel control to design a user interface that behaves like a wizard. Add the back and next buttons to the front panel of the top level VI and use a sub panel control to load different front panels for each step of the wizard. Follow these steps to load a front panel in a sub panel control. LabVIEW creates an invoke node on the block diagram with the insert VI method selected. Add the OpenVI reference function to the left of the invoke node on the plot diagram. Via the path of the VI whose front panel we want to load to the VI path input of the OpenVI reference function. Let's browse for a path and add a demo VI that I created for this tutorial. It shows a simple graph in, on which random numbers are generated. Right click the VI reference output of the open VI reference function and select create. method for VI class and then run VI. From the shortcut menu and add the node that appears on the cursor to the right of the open VI reference function. Wire the VI reference output of the open VI reference function to the VI reference of the run VI method. Right click the wait until done input of the run VI method and select create constant from the shortcut menu to create a boolean constant with the value of false. Wire the VI reference output of the run VI method to the VI ref input of the insert VI method. Add a while loop to the right of the insert VI method. In the while loop, right click the conditional terminal and select create control from the shortcut menu to create a stop button. 
add wait until next millisecond multiple function inside the while loop and wire a numeric constant to the millisecond multiple input. Specify the number of milliseconds we want to lapse when the VI runs. Add the close reference function to the right of the while loop. Wire the VI reference output of the run VI method through the while loop to the reference input of the close reference function via all error in and error out terminals on the block diagram. So let's test it. From the VI, the block diagram of the sub VI opens and inserted into the sub panel. When you press the stop button, the reference is cleared and the VI unloads. We can also use the sub panel properties and invoke nodes to modify sub panel controls programmatically.